This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Thursday, June 4th, 2020. We're using this week of daily video updates to talk about organizing. Not necessarily talking about the why of organizing, that's a good topic for preaching and four minutes isn't quite enough time to do it justice, other than to say that in this moment, Black Lives Matter, they have always mattered, and the, the gaping chasm between that statement and the lived reality of America in 2020 and over the last 400 years makes organizing necessary rather than optional. But the question that we're taking up in these video updates is how we organize. Yesterday we talked about what it means to be in relationship and coalitions with people that we have disagreements with. And we're going to carry forward that theme today about coalition building. Because it's hard to set up a coalition of folks and organizations who agree on some things and disagree on others while in the midst of a crisis. It's hard to do that in the moment. Yes, on, on one hand, crisis moments clarify what side we're on and give urgency to the work of organizing. But it's also very easy for the stress inherent in a crisis to highlight the tensions within a coalition. And there's a few ways around that challenge, most of which involve relationship. I did my community organizing training through an organization called Gamaliel, which uses Saul Alinsky's model of community organizing as one of its foundational texts. And that style of organizing begins not with a list of demands or with large actions, although it, it gets there, but with many, many one-on-one -on -one meetings getting to know who you are organizing with, what their needs and hopes are, what your needs and hopes are, and forming a basis of relationship that everything that comes afterwards builds on. The Unitarian Universalist historian and theologian Mark Morrison Reed literally wrote the book, or books, on the Unitarian Universalist response to the civil rights movement in the 1960s and 1970s, both the times that we did well and the times when we fell far short of our ideals. When we were at our best as allies, he writes, it is because we were already in relationship, in accountable and authentic relationship, that when organizers for actions at Selma called, Unitarian Universalists picked up the phone and showed up when and where we were asked. Because we had been doing the hard work of relationship building in the years leading up to that crisis moment. So this is why it's really important that we're not alone and isolated as a faith movement in Lincoln. This work of relationship building is what we do when we turn out to the faith coalition meetings, when we go to events at other faith communities, when we have pulpit swaps within and outside our denomination, when we invite folks into our space for the Sorensen lecture. Building up that network in advance of a crisis means that our organizing is grounded in authentic and accountable relationship. We'll leave it there for today. It's Thursday, so I'll see you in worship tonight. And tomorrow on this channel, we'll talk about how self-interest fits into all of this. See you then. We're gonna turn off that fan, actually. Well, I'm glad we caught all that on camera.